Sorry for the delay on this staircase secret room project. I guess it wasn't really our highest priority. And I got distracted making that vibrating pizza peel that nobody bought. So let's get in here and see what we got. There's an electrical box on the wall, which is good. And there's a lot of ductwork, which is not good. Make sure your foreman is vaccinated before sending him in here. There's nails sticking out everywhere. And tetanus is a real thing. After we cleaned this all up, we started thinking about an entrance. I didn't get approval to use these cabinets. So we're just gonna make a door in the back of this closet on the other side. These pee pads are great for drop cloths. Just tape it to the wall and start cutting. Just go from one wall stud to the other. You push against it as you cut as a vertical guide. You can just score and break this last cut. I think I'll actually go a bit taller with this door. It's gotta be at least 48 inches on the diagonal to fit a piece of drywall. We'll make benches to cover this ductwork. Next, we'll turn off the power and wire this box. Take off the cover and remove the receptacle. Then push a new wire through the back of the box. Now separate and strip the wires. Bend the wires so they can hook onto the screw terminals. This box was at the end of a run, which makes this super simple. You're gonna to wanna to find a more detailed video to learn how to do this stuff. Cap and tape everything before pushing it back into the wall. Then we'll go to the other side and set up the new box. Make sure this sticks out a little bit to clear the drywall. There's plastic guides on the box to help you do this. Fish your new wire through, split it and strip it. Then just like last time, bend the wires so they'll hook onto the terminals. You should really drywall this before wiring the box. But I'll just pre-cut the drywall. I'm not that good with the router anyway. You should also put in one of these. Again, find a good detailed video to show you how to do that. 